10. Most Valuable Jefferson Nickel Coins Worth Money Thomas Jefferson is one of the most famous American presidents. We started minting his coins in 1938 and we still use them today. But what are the most valuable Jefferson nickels? Let's find out as we learn more about the coin itself, its history, and the president who graces this 5C piece. This nickel was minted in Denver, Philadelphia, San Francisco, and West Point. 1. 1938D Jefferson Nickel Full Step Regular Strike Thomas Jefferson was a skilled philosopher and penman, known as the primary author of the United States Declaration of Independence. He worked on it as part of the Committee of Five, and they all agreed he played the most active role in the drafting of this key document. Year, 1938, Mint Mark, Denver Grade, MS 68 plus FS Date of Sale, the 17th of July, 2022. Price, $33,600. Jefferson was also an experienced architect, lawyer, and diplomat. As one of the founding fathers, he served as the first Secretary of State to George Washington and the second Vice President to John Adams before becoming the third President of these United States. 2. 1942. D.D. Horizontal Full Step. Jefferson Nickel. Regular Strike Jefferson earned the Vice Presidency in 1796 by coming second in the presidential election. Back then, the candidate with the most votes got the seat and his runner-up got the vice position. After one term, he ran against his boss and won, making him the third U.S. president. Year, 1941. Mint Mark, Denver or Horizontal Denver Grade, MS-64, FS Date of Sale, the 5th of January, 2006. Price, $32,200. He served for two terms and could have run for a third, but he voluntarily stepped down, just like Washington did. Although he fell out with John Adams during this debacle, they made up and stayed friends well into their senior years. They died on the same day, hours apart. 3. 1940. Reverse of 1938. Jefferson Nickel Proof. Other political positions that Jefferson held included Governor of Virginia, 1779-1781, and U.S. Minister to France, 1785-1789. The fact that he achieved both elected and appointed positions proves his popularity with both the voting public and his government colleagues. Year 1940. Obverse with 1938 reverse mint mark, none, Philadelphia. Grade, PR 68 date of sale, the 5th of January 2011. Price $28,750. As a leader, he was big on individual human and state rights, especially freedom of religion, speech, and thought. He also defended U.S. trade against pirates and punitive policies from our former colonizers, the British. He died on July 4, 1826, our 50th Independence Day. 4. 1953S Jefferson Nickel Full Step Regular Strike While Jefferson did a lot of good, he sometimes landed on the wrong side. Like most of the Founding Fathers, he owned slaves. Also, Indian tribal removal was his idea. It took Native Americans off their ancestral land, forcing them into reservations where they still live today. Year, 1953, Mint Mark, San Francisco Grade, MS 65 FS, date of sale, the 14th of January, 2019, price, $24,000. He did eventually endorse the act prohibiting the importation of slaves, 1807, but he's also thought to have fathered six kids or more with Sally Hemings, one of his slaves. Still, public opinion leans in his favor, and he's consistently voted among America's top 10 presidents. 5. 1939. Doubled Monticello. Jefferson Nickel. Full step regular strike. Jefferson was president from 1801 to 1809 and was placed on the nickel in 1938. His 5C coin replaced the Buffalo Nickel, which had just completed its minimum 25-year term and was unpopular at the mint. The public liked the Buffalo Nickel but they loved the Jefferson. Year, 1939. Mint Mark, none, Philadelphia. Grade, MS 67, FS date of sale, the 26th of September, 2019. Price, $23,500. The coin has had three obverse designs so far. That's the head side. But the reverse design, tails side, only changed from 2004 to 2005 when it had commemorative issues to mark the Lewis and Clark westward journey. Those four reverse designs were used for six months each. 6. 1939, reverse of 1940, Jefferson Nickel, full step regular strike. For most of its existence, the Jefferson Nickel was 75% copper and 25% nickel. 
It has a silver sheen to simulate the original silver content of half dimes, sometimes spelled as half dismies with the silent middles. But during the war years, 1942 to 1945, the metal mix was changed. Year, 1939. Obverse with 1940 reverse mint mark, none, Philadelphia. Grade, MS 68 FS date of sale, the 27th of February, 2014. Price, $23,500. During these years, most of the nation's nickel was redirected to the war effort where it was a key component in weapons and military equipment. So the Jefferson wartime nickels were made of 56% copper, 35% silver, and 9% manganese instead. Their size remained the same. 7. 1,964 DD repunched mint mark, RPM, Jefferson nickel. Jefferson nickels have always weighed 5G and measured 21.21 mm in diameter, 0.84. They have a plain, unreaded edge with no writing. The dominant design was by Felix Oscar Schlag, who won a design competition in 1938. His reverse sketch was altered for the coin, though. Year, 1964. Mint mark, Denver over Denver grade, MS 66 date of sale, the 17th of July, 2022. Price, $19,800. As we mentioned earlier, the Buffalo nickel was pretty to look at but tough to mint. So in 1938, mint director Nellie Taylor Ross announced a contest to design a new nickel. The instructions explained that Jefferson had to be on the front with his mansion on the back. 8. 1953, Jefferson Nickel Proof Deep Cameo. The prize was decent, $1,000. But many artists waited until the last minute to submit their entries. The deadline was April 15th, and by April 20th, the Mint had received 390 sketches. The judges reviewed all submissions for four days before picking Felix Schlag as the winner. Year, 1953, Mint Mark, Nunn, Philadelphia. Grade, PR 68 DCAM date of sale, the 24th of April, 2013. Price, $15,275. His background was an interesting one. He was an immigrant from Germany that had been in the U.S. just shy of a decade when he earned his prize. It did a lot for his reputation as an artist, but his underexposure may have led to some of the mistakes he made in his layout. 9. 1962. Jefferson Nickel Full Step Regular Strike. For one thing, while previous coin designers were clashing with the mint over the size of their initials on coins, Schlag didn't sign the coin at all. His FS wasn't placed until 1966 when the Mint corrected the oversight. He also took a more artistic approach to mansion depiction. Year, 1962, Mint Mark, Nunn, Philadelphia, Grade, MS 67 plus FS, Date of Sale, the 8th of August, 2013, Price, $21,150. In his original sketch, Monticello was at an angle complete with a tree. Also, he placed the legend United States of America at the bottom of the coin instead of the top, which is where it appears on most coins. He was asked to change both, but the wording edits were forgotten. 10. 1,947S Jefferson Nickel Full Step Regular Strike For the obverse of the coin, Schlag took a lot less license. His portrait was based on the classic piece by Jean-Antoine Houdon, and Jefferson faced left. Later versions were done by Joe Fitzgerald, partial head facing right, and Jamie Frankie, at an angle but facing forward. Year, 1947. Mint Mark, San Francisco grade, MS 67, FS date of sale, the 1st of May, 2007. Price, $14,950. Despite his design errors, Schlag was by no means a novice. Before coming to America, he had many European awards for his work, but it was a tough time for him, and he ended up spending his Jefferson Nickel winnings on his wife's funeral. He and Anna had three kids.